some archaeological news to tell you about now. Historians from Egypt and Germany have uncovered what may be the biggest relic of its time, a statue depicting Egyptian pharaoh Ramesses II. Take a look. It's quite possible that for centuries the muddy waters of a slum in Cairo was the resting place for the statue of one of the most powerful rulers of ancient Egypt, Ramesses the Great. He was the third of the 19th dynasty of Egypt and ruled from 1279 to 1213 BCE. The discovery was made by a joint effort between Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities and researchers from the University of Leipzig. The last Tuesday, uh, they called me to announce the big discovery of a colossus of a king, maybe most probably Ramses II, made out of uh, quartzite. Uh, we found the bust of the statue uh, and the lower part of the head. Uh, and now we removed the head, we found the crown and the right ear and a fragment of the right eye. The discovery was made near the ruins of Ramesses II's temple in the ancient city of Heliopolis, now the eastern part of modern-day Cairo. According to ancient Egyptian belief, Heliopolis was the place where the sun god lives, meaning it was off-limits for any royal residencies. Uh, Heliopolis is the place where the sun god resides. So the sun god created the world in Heliopolis, in Mataria. That's what I always tell the people here when they say, is here anything important? Yes, according to the pharaonic belief, the world was created in Mataria. And that means uh, that every king had to build here, make statues, temples, obelisks, everything. But he was never allowed to make a residence here. The king never lived in Mataria because it's the sun god who is living here. If experts are successful and the Colossus is proven to depict Ramesses II, it'll be moved to the entrance of the Grand Egyptian Museum, which is set to open in 2018.